Good morning, tubers. Madam Roy back again. Had it's been a long time no see situation again. That's right. I've been uh, fairly busy. And uh, just to be honest with you, I haven't had really that many interesting things to make videos about. So I'd rather not make a video than make a video about something that's really, really boring. So the reason I am actually making the vlog today is because mom and dad are coming home. That's right. This is the end of their trip around the United States. They were in Charlottesville uh, overnight, and now they're heading back home. It's not that far. It's a couple hour trip at most, uh, even when you're towing a trailer. Um, from what I understand, everything went very well. Uh, this last leg, luckily, there hadn't been any issues with the AC. Oddly enough, my dad said that ever since they left the um, desert and went to more humid climate, the AC's been working just fine. So. Who knows, I guess uh, it needs that little extra moisture to uh, keep from freezing up, which is actually odd because I would have thought the opposite to be true. Uh, the drier the air should, should make it work actually better because the, the liquid doesn't have a chance to build up as quickly, it evaporates and therefore wouldn't freeze up, but you know what, things in an RV and trailer are weird, what can I say? <laughs> well, a couple things I want to mention, the uh, Christ Channel Country is running perfectly. Uh, starter, the new starter seems to be working really well. No issues anymore with that sensor. Uh, thank God. Hopefully, I don't have to put any more work into this thing because I've already probably put close to a thousand dollars into this vehicle since I bought it. Um, that's even including the uh, starter being half off because I had a three month warranty, which is about to expire. So, if anything else goes bad, hope it goes bad now, at least anything major. <laughs> But uh, it's going to be another scorcher here today for those of you that are in the south uh, eastern section of uh, Virginia, specifically Hampton Roads. Um, today it's supposed to get back up into the around 97, 98 degrees with a heat index of about 108. And uh, for those of you that don't know, heat index is the temperature and the humidity combined. And uh, around here that can get pretty, pretty out. 108 degrees here is not like 108 degrees out in uh, Vegas or out in the desert. 108 degrees in the desert is actually a lot more uh, tolerable because even though that's an actual temperature, it's a dry heat. So basically the uh, the sweat never even has a chance to form. It just, it just evaporates off your body almost instantly. Whereas here, with that kind of humidity, um, you pretty much walk outside and you're, you're sweating instantly and you lose a lot of water. Now, the tricky part is when you're in the desert, you do lose about the equal amount of water, so you still have to uh, hydrate yourself, but it's just a lot more comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but there have been times I've been out here in the summer doing some work, sweat pouring down so much it gets into my eyes and that salt starts stinging you. I have to have about four or five um, face towels with me to make sure I can sop it all up. And even with that, I probably would sweat through about two or three shirts, and I can remember many years uh, being outside trimming the hedges and that was definitely the case uh, and unfortunately that's the first thing we're gonna have to do when uh, mom and dad get back and I would have did it myself but it's really a two-person job because one person has to be there to make sure that the um, branches fall on the sheet that we put down and then the other then the other person trims it and then another person picks it up really too hot right now for one person to do it as well so we'll have to uh, see what happens maybe I'll uh, pay our lawn guy to come over and do it because I know he's got some really good equipment that can probably get it done about a fraction of the time it would take us our um, our little trimmer wasn't working too well last time we just have one of those little um, I want to say it's a Black & Decker uh, electric powered uh, trimmer and uh, it's not in the greatest shape. We've had it for a long time and I remember last time I think the motor started binding up on it. Dad was able to lube it a little bit and get it to continue to work but it's I can almost guarantee we're going to have issues with it again this year. Um, you guys have been asking me about those computers. I still have about nine or ten of those Dell Optiplexes left. Though I've pretty much, yeah, I've sold, I've sold all the i7s. So all they have left right now are the i5s. Um, I have three of them complete. I should have two more done by uh, the end. Uh, well, I should say the uh, actually the end of this week, believe it or not, because I'm just waiting on hard drives. I have memory for those. I just need to get the hard drives in. And what I've been doing. Um, I've been scattering them with two, or 
installing them with two hard drives, either two 640 gig drives or two 750s, uh, whatever I can get my hands on. The reason behind that is it allows the next owner to have a redundant backup of their data without actually having to use an online data backup uh, facility like uh, Carbonite or something like that. Basically, they can store they can store their files on the main hard drive and then the secondary hard drive. And I find that a lot of people like to be able to do that, and it does definitely make sense because hard drives always fail it, for no rhyme or reason and you want to make sure you have at least uh, one redundant backup I always recommend two but yeah you know, let's be realistic you, people never like to uh, listen to your recommendations anyway <laughs> at least in my case well I'm almost home I'm gonna try to get mom and dad on the vlog today if they feel up to it because I know you guys haven't seen them in a while so please continue to uh, like and subscribe and I'll be back with you guys uh, probably in about two or three hours. All right, tubers, so it is the next day. Uh, Mom and Dad got home yesterday and uh, we were just so happy to see each other that I totally forgot to do any more vlogging. But you know what, that's the way it goes. When you haven't seen uh, somebody, some people you yeah, love within a month or so, you kind of want to spend as much time as you can with them. So they got home, they were telling me all of the stories about how their trip went for the past month, you know, since I left them in California. Um, they basically went through Colorado, Wyoming. We stopped in Colorado to see my other uncle. Then Wyoming, Kansas. They stayed at a beautiful campground in Kansas. A lot of these beautiful rolling mountains kind of reminded them of what New York used to look like. Uh, they went through Indiana, uh, I'm sorry, Ohio and Indiana. In Ohio, they actually visited my other uncle, which they both said they wish they could have seen me, but I told them there was just no way that I could... Uh, travel for that long. I have obligations here I have to take care of. Um, then they went through uh, Kentucky and then they stayed in Charlottesville uh, the last the other night and then came home uh, yesterday. They got home pretty early. Actually, they were expecting to get home around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. They wound up getting home around 1, so they made really good time. We uh, went out and ate at Buffet City because, let's face it, none of us felt like cooking <laughs> that day. And uh, just had a lot of good fellowship and uh, always the funniest thing when mom and dad first got in the house um, mom was the first one in she went right up to Baxter he snubbed her he, he maybe sniffed her for a second and ran away from her like he didn't even know who she was which not really surprising because mom wasn't around very much uh, since we had him even before the trip then when dad came in right away Baxter was up on him he, dad sat down he was up on his lap he was rubbing against dad purring so he obviously remembered dad but didn't really remember mom so that went on pretty much all all night then this morning I realized Baxter didn't come in and bother me around five or six like he usually does so I went in to see mom you know she told me that he came up to her last th this past morning lay next to her and started purring and let her cuddle with him so even though he may not have remembered mom he's uh, definitely happy that she's home and I'm glad that he's chumming up to her a lot of questions you guys been asking me about uh, are we going to get another playmate for him I haven't really decided yet um, we're going to see how it goes if he's happy with just the three of us I may just stick with one cat be a lot easier to deal with especially when we go on our trip so just have to play that one by ear see if uh, see if he can handle being a, a lone cat well right now I'm heading back to that thrift store in Norfolk to see if they have any other uh, computers I need to go down to Virginia Beach and uh, try to pick up some more monitors today um, I want to get some feedback from you guys about the live streams. I am definitely going to continue those, and uh, I'm going to next one. I'm going to try using the Mac because yes, I realize we're having issues with that uh, Logitech webcam, um, especially with the audio it wasn't a very good quality. So I am going to try the iSight camera on the uh, 2011 iMac that I have. We'll see if uh, that one works a little bit better. Uh, I believe yeah, I know I can get OBS Studio for that too. They have a Mac version of that. And uh, we're just going to try that next time and see if that gives a little bit better uh, quality. But we'll get there, guys. It's still a learning process. And I'm still not that crazy about the way YouTube handles their um, live streaming because I think the quality leaves a lot to be desired. If you guys watched my last live stream, that was actually recorded in uh, 720p HD. 
but once it was once YouTube uploaded it and was a, and, and did their um, conversions, it looks like it was recorded in 360p. So hopefully YouTube will continue to get better and better with their live streams. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've, I actually think that the Facebook uh, live stream is a lot better quality. The only problem is most of you guys uh, that don't follow me on Facebook would never be able to see it. So we'll just kind of have to wait until that gets a little bit better. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I don't have too much else to talk about right now. Um, we'll see what the rest of the day brings, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. Oh, oh, need to adjust this again. All right, tubers. Well, feeling very relaxed at the moment. Should be going to some of my favorite thrift stores over here on the peninsula. I'm heading home right now. I uh, got a few goodies. I also went over to Norfolk to that one, and I want to buy in uh, three more of those towers, a um, bunch of monitors, just the typical stuff that I usually get. Um, over here, I wound up going to the Goodwill outlet. I got 10 mice. They're two bucks a piece. Not too bad. Not too bad. They're, some of them are kind of worn, but they all work. Supposedly, they're tested anyway. Um, I'm going to go home. I want, I want to definitely get mom and dad in the vlog today. I'll have them uh, tell you what they thought of the rest of their trip. Um, they definitely have some really nice pictures. I need to go ahead and transfer those over and get them printed out. Probably going to be a job for me later on today or at least over the weekend. But um, not too much else going on right now. I got one more thrift store to, to hit up and then I'm going to head home get a little bit of a rest because I did not sleep well last night. We had majorly bad storms. Um, I finally went to sleep like around midnight and uh, right around 3 a.m. we had a really bad storm roll through. Hard thunder, lightning, the works woke me up. Probably was up for about another hour so I wound up sleeping. I was supposed to get up at about 7 this morning and go out with the car guys for breakfast. I slept right through my alarm so uh, I don't know. I maybe got about five or six hours of uninterrupted uh, deep sleep which really isn't enough for me I find these days I still I need about I need my seven or eight hours a day or a night let's say if I don't then I'm uh, really groggy and pretty um, pretty gruff the whole next day so we're gonna pause the video I got this one other thrift store to go to later on I'll try to get mom and dad in the vlog for today and I will talk to you guys in a little bit all right, tubers, I know this probably isn't the best angle, but I'm doing the best I can with my mount here. Um, this is the next day. Uh, this is Sunday, and I just left Petco, and yes, I was doing what you think I'm doing, looking for a playmate for Baxter, and I think I found one. It's a little, uh, gr a little actually white and gray cat. He looks, on top, he looks very similar to Baxter, and on the bottom, he's pretty much all white. Um, I'm heading home right now to try to convince mom and dad to come over and at least take a look at this cat. Uh, they kind of left it all up to me, though his mom kind of seemed a little bit angry that I was doing this today, but you know what? I definitely think Baxter needs a little playmate, and um, you know what? I, I, I Unfortunately, that other cat, Cash, had gotten adopted, so that one didn't work out. I saw quite a few other cats while I was here, too. They had some or two orange cats, which... It didn't give me the time of day. Ooh, excuse me. And then they had a, a black cat, which I liked, but mom, for whatever reason, just does not like all black cats. I guess because of the stigma of them being related to like Halloween and stuff like that. But we'll just have to see what happens. I'm gonna head home right now, and I want to see if uh, they'll at least come out and look at these cats with me, and this one in particular. Uh, it's about 12:30 right now. The adoption event is going on at Petco till about 3:30 today, and they will be doing this next Sunday too. So if we don't get it done this Sunday, just have to wait about a week. But of course, then I run the risk of this cat uh, being adopted out. So. We'll just have to see what happens. I'm gonna pause the video for right now. <laughs> this is gonna be like a two or three day vlog because I have some footage I shot earlier that was done like a day or two earlier. I just, to be honest with you, we've been really busy getting them situated, getting back home and doing computer work. So I haven't had a chance to edit or upload anything. So I'll pause this video and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, tubers. So we have a new kitten in the family. That's right. But I'm not going to show you him right now. We're actually going out to uh, get something to eat. You guys are going to have to wait around a little bit. I may actually make you guys wait until the next vlog. I'll, I'll see if I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> but he's really cute. He's actually upstairs in the guest room right there, or the TV room. And uh, Baxter and them have met. Baxter's a little bit nervous of him right now. He hissed a few times. 
but I think it's still going to be fine. We're going to go ahead out and get something to eat, and I'll talk to you a little All bit right, later. All right, tubers, this is the newest addition to the family. We haven't named him yet. That's kind of going to be your job. We decide we're going to do a, a naming contest here. We want you guys to come up with a good name for our little boy. And don't forget, he is a little boy. Only about 12 weeks old right now. Very pretty. Say hi to everybody. Puss Puss. We're just going to call him Puss Puss right now. <laughs> He oh, doesn't, he's, he's very energetic, he's but you can squirming. see he's beautiful. He's squirming, I gotta put him He's down. gotta get down, but he's we haven't squirming. decided again, we haven't decided on a name. We're gonna let you guys choose some names, and then we'll pick from those. But you can see, he and Baxter are eh, so far. They've hissed at each other a little bit. He's actually going in right now, and uh, getting. he's been eating like a crazy, loves the wet food, which, not surprised, he's never had it before. So I want to show you guys our new little kitten. You'll definitely be seeing him in a lot more videos. All right, Tuber, so there was a little sneak peek of the cat. You didn't really think I was going to make you guys wait till tomorrow, did you? Uh, if you did, I'm sorry. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.